Good day, listeners, and welcome to another edition of uh, Turf Talk. I'm your sonist, Michael Kane, and I'm going to take you through a preview of the upcoming 10 race card that's going to be on show at Kevin Spark on Saturday, the 27th of July, 2024. The feature is going to be the She's, Man, She's a Man Eater Trophy. That's race number seven. A field of six will go one mile, 1600 meters or eight furlongs. The purse, 1.75 bid, and we see the two-time reading horse of the year. Atomica going up in action against the five opponents. The Donald Webby Senior Trophy will be the 10th and final. That's going to be the secondary feature. And over the Lawrence contest all three rows and up for horses who have not won. An overnight race, knife time purse, 1.25 million. They go 1,000 meters straight. Let's hit the ground running as you always do on the number one horse racing preview show, Turf Talk. The first event is at uh, high noon. We have one of the claimers. They go 700 meters straight or three and a half foot on straight. It's for a purse of 600,000, a feed of 13. Clear to go poster to start your regular six, regular six jackpot now 8.82 million plus. And the minimum guarantee period, of course, is 3.5 million. The best four for me here includes five, beautiful brand, 10, Slesinger, 11, Maytrack, and 13. Freedom for Eds, 5, 10, 11, and 13 are my best four. Beautiful brand with the sneaky fox rider from and rider for trainer Michael Spencer, a.k.a. Mikey. The figure, 8, removed. And this one has uh, run well the last two outings. First by Shorty, two started back on the 23rd of May, but was disqualified for weight discrepancy. Came back, ran second by Linton Halbert and Galloway B over four four down straight. Cuts back in distance now, half four down shorter. Has good speed. Look for beautiful brand to be Bang contention from the word go. Towards the outside Sessinger, usual one to claimer that gets a lot of support. Went over even more the last time out. Six by six and a half lengths to Galloway Bay and Beautiful Brand. Prior to that, four to five, five by nine and a quarter lengths. Beat my Beautiful Brand. So this one is a very popular one by the claiming box. Now trained by Howard the guy. Reports first time over the claim. Let's see how well Sessinger will re- report for his new trainer. Major at number 11. Ran third last time out in that same Galloway Bay Beautiful Brand event. Two shots back, third by five and a half lengths band, beautiful band, and reminiscent bolo. So look for me, track from another honest effort to be right there in the thick of things throughout. Tevin Foster, the leading rider. He's a board for trainer, Cashbird Kiwalsing, and owner, Gilbert Kiwalsing. And number 13, Freedom for Eds. Went around the bend last time out. A rare visit going around the bend. And uh, riding himself uh, fairly proud. Third by eight and three quarter lengths, making late gain to Nina Dorada and Silverstein. Now reverts to the customer straight distance, gets the wide post. Richard Henry chips off the 3 kilo of that allotted 54.5 kilo weight. So it's going to be a good chance here for Freedom for Ed's drawn. Whites of all, he has good speed. And you know, speed is an asset in these quick dash events. Make it 5, 13, 10, 11. My order of preference for race number one. Beautiful brand to get the better of Freedom for Ed's. Sledginger and Matriarch. Dr. Paul Wright's selection is number 10. Sledginger. Race two is next. We start the catch nine here. Minimum guarantee period 500,000. Jackpot over 874,000. A small field of six will go 1,000 meters round. It's a restricted allowance five. For an interbred fives and up nuns of 20, Portis, five and up maidens, the purse is 720,000. One, two, five, and six are my best four, as well as my order of preference. Dancing with the Cat over Denison, Principal Tiffany, and Empress Nakilia. Dancing with the Cat, run up last time out by two lengths, beaten by Caveman and Eternals, eight lengths, the second run up, Princess Tiffany. And Principal Tiffany is here, and this one is John Post. Five. Number two, Adenesine keeps on showing speed but keeps on stopping. Is expected to lead once again. Now coming down the bed at five round, Richard Henry right for Enos Brown. This is going to be 52 kilos here, compounds of the three kilo claim of Richard Henry. Adenesine, the one to catch. But chances are he'll be caught again. I like the way Principal Tiffany made uh, that mid race move on last over six and a half four rounds in that same vent won by Caveman over dancing with the cat. And that really has uncovered her well being. Cuts back by a furlong and a half from six and a half furlongs to five round. Devin Thomas replaces Daniel Thompson in the saddle for turning David Powell. Look for Principal Tiffany on the strength of that last run to be right there in the thick of things throughout at five furlongs round. And Empress Nakila has been showing pace and speed, but has been stopping abruptly. Now at five round, let's see if Empress Nakila can at least hold on for a piece of the purse here. It's a only a feel of six. Dancing with the cat, number one, to get a bit of number two, Adenosine, then five, Principal Tiffany, and six, Empress Nakilia. Dr. Polite's selection is the speedy Adenosine. Race three is next. We start the place spot eight and quick four here. Place spot eight, jackpot over 744,000. Quick four, jackpot over 80,000. And they both have a minimum guaranteed period of a quarter of a million dollars. It's a restricted allowance, two for native bear, throws it up, nuns of two, and imported throws it up, maidens. The purse, 1.1 million. They go... 
five and a half furlongs. One, two, three, and six are my best four. Crypto Girl, Titan Tempo, Fearless Force, and Unbelievable Force. One, two, three, and six. Of that quartet, Unbelievable Force, this is a debutant, an imported Philly. She's three old dark beer brown Philly by McCracken out of the Cat Thief Dam, debit or credit. Bread White Fox Farm. Own ACK Stable Strain for the Piano D and has been ridden by the Sneaky Fox, Radish Robot. So if you're looking for a rake, the breeder, White Fox Farm. The rider, the Sneaky Fox. So the fox for the fox here, with unbelievable force. Has tongue time fitted for the debut, has worked well, has shown good speed. 35 flat for three for the 29th of June. Went 48 flat for a half mile on the 6th of July. On the 17th of July, 47 too easy. Working with Taurus Bow that morning on the 20th of July. Two four downs in 23 3. Easy. So she's blessed with good early speed. Look for unbelievable force to live up to her name on debut. Number three, Fearless Force. Also owned ACK Stables. Also trained for the piano D. This one, another imported Philly. She's a three year old dark bear brown Philly by Anchor Down out of the Ghana Stray Dam. A merry song. Bread in the USA. Robert Haldin picks up the mount. Has not been doing anything flashy at exercise. According to the exercise reports, but she's expected to do well. First time of asking. And Titan Tempo number two, also trained by Philip Fiano D. So Philip Fiano D has a stronghold on race number three. Titan Tempo was second and last by two and a quarter and beat my bold move. That was over six further than 114 2. And a three and three quarter and scale of happy four. So assert. So look for Titan Tempo with second time lay six. And the leading rider Tim Foster to run well here. Crypto Girl number one. A local bred, and she had shown great speed on debut, winning by 15 and 3 quarter inches, 1 minute and 4 fifths of a second, beating Valley of Love and Dove. Those are still maidens, but she has stepped up and run well since. Second in the Hotline 6 to Banadura. The eventual Thornbird Stakes winner, and was second by three days over five and a half furlongs, also smart. Well beaten in the Portmore and the 1000 Guinness, and also well beaten last time up behind Motivate Me Baby and Pineapple. So things are going the way of Crypto Girl in recent runs. Tongue tie removed. Figure it now fitted by Trader Donovan Plumber. Matthew Benny picks up the mount once again. Crypto Girl should make it close in this five and a half furlong dusk. Dash. Going for number six. Unbelievable force. To get the better of number three, fearless force is going to be a forceful approach here from the barn of Filifiano D for third, number two, Titan Tempo. So one, two, three for Filifiano D in the third, for fourth, number one, Crypto Girl. Dr. Polite selection is number seven. On this closed location. Race 4 is next, and here's where we start. The early 5 star minimum guaranteed pay at 500,000, jackpot over 2.864 million. A field of 8 will go 5.5 furlongs or 1100 meters to the claiming level. 550 down to 450,000, native bread 5 and up, non 4s also can take part without a tag, as well as importees 5 and up, non 4. My best 4 of the field of 8 includes 1 legal bomb, 5 baton route 6, Wilson. And eight sniper man one five six and eight. The one on the second top is number six Wilson, won by the proverbial city block on last nineteen and a quarter length clean one fourteen one, beating high diplomacy and dodgy slink. Notably, was clean from Patrick Taylor, aka Mice, and notably is back under the care of Patrick Taylor, aka Mice. So this one races without a tag, given the waiver claim option engaged. And that says that if you claim a horse and you start sixty or more days after you can run without a tag, so the connections get at least two tries with said horse. So Wilson could very well make it back-to-back wins here for Turner. Patrick Taylor, Shane Richardson has picked up the mount. Wilson gets a vote here in the fourth event. Legal bomb number 157 kilos, joint top weight with stable mate Storm McCom. They should acquit themselves well here. They're racing without a tag at the 550 level, so they can do so, given that they're 500 up nuns of four. Legal bomb, second by half, and it last time out to Jagger over 5 straight in 1022. Should fit in well among the 5 the claimers here, but from the top of the scales, we'll have to put every hoof right. And number 3, Storm come. that can be said about that one also. They're both trained by Patrick Lynch. Number 5, Battle Rouge, comes on the bend, race over the straight the last four times. Has been in good nick in recent months. Has good back class as well, one at a million, and also one at over the Lawns last year, August. So if Battle Rouge taps into that type of form, He'll definitely fight out the finish here. O'Shea Nugent right for Turner Byron Davis. And towards the outside, Snapper Man number 8. Carlos Blake for Howard Jagai and Bombay Stone Farm. Popular at the claiming box. Has been claimed at least 9 of the last 10 races. So, this one changes barns very frequently. Let's see how well Snapper Man will respond 
to his new conditioner, Howard Jagai. Make it 61815, my order of preference for race number four, Wilson, to get a bit of legal bomb, stamper man, and Baton Rouge. In this event, Dr. Polite selection is Wilson, number six. Race five is next. We start the Twilight Six here. Minimum guaranteed pay of 3.5 million on a field of 10. Go 1300 meters of six and a half four downs. It's for the claiming level 400,000 out of 300,000. The per 790,000. My best four of the field of 10 includes five Angelos, eight Sensational Gold, nine Genealogy, and 10 Nakamura. Five, eight, nine, and 10. Nakamura gets a vote number 10. Run up the last two out in second by head last time up, beat by Phenomenon one at five and a half four down, running on. Two stars of axe, second by five over the straight course, beaten by Rocket Lily. Also running on somewhat, so the last two outings, it can be said that the trips may have been a trifle short. No, six and a half four dollars right up his street. He won't have any excuses here. The sneaky fox Radish Roman maintains him up for the third consecutive occasion of Patrina Errol Burke. And they teamed up recently with a win with Princess Sophia. So, so look for Nakamura to Frank the form. Sensational gold, third by two and three quarter in the last time all coming off a lengthy absence. And it's back off another break again. So last race in February and now in July. So clearly this one has had issues. Deem Lane, the last two outings. If sound enough, Sensational Gold can fight at the finish rail lose the champion jockey call to ride by trainer Randall Scott. Genealogy number nine, Michael Semple. Rides to Kevin Murray, third by Ethan Afflins last time out to Simba the Line and Rohan Kabir. Look for this one to run. Another pleasing race. And number five is Angelos. With leading rider Tim Foster riding for Stephen Tall and Ross Door. Notably, this one has been reclaimed by these connections who had this one a few months ago. So, Angelos. So, there's a good indicator when you see connections to reclaim a horse. It didn't win, according to the last 10 races here. But, maybe they know how to get this one going. So, we keep Angelos on the right side. 10, Nakamura. Get a better of eight, Sensational Gold, nine, Genealogy, and five, Angelos. Dr. Polite Selection is number 10, Nakamura. Race number six is next. And here is where we start the late five-star minimum guaranteed payout, 500,000. We have a field of 14 going five and a half rounds. The maximum field, it's a maiden condition. It's a horse who have not earned 280,000 lifetime. The first 1 million and 50,000. Just before I tell you who are my horses of interest for race number six, we're going to take over mid-program break. Welcome back uh, to the program. Your are Michael Kane uh, taking you through the preview of the 10 race card. That's going to be on show at Cayman Park on Saturday, the 27th of July, 2024, the final race day for July. And uh, please know that we'll be having racing on Emancipation Day. That's going to be the 1st of August. There's also going to be live racing on the 3rd of August. And then again, on the 6th of August, that's going to be Jamaica Derby Day. Independence Day. So the 1st, the 3rd, the 6th, and then of course the 10th. So we have bumper to bumper racing coming your way from Cayman Park. We're at race 6 on the Saturday card. Late 5 star with a 500,000 minimum guarantee period up for grabs. On the field of 14, my best 4 includes 2 awesome line, 5 indestructible, 8 Tiffany Blue, and 10 a breath of fresh air. 2, 5, 8, and 10 are my best 4. The one I like on top is number 5 indestructible. Has raced against much better horses than most, if not all, of these runners. Last time out was fought by six and a half lengths to Provident, Mac and Rome, and Rocola. Provident has come back to run well in some big races. Mac and Rome has won twice, and what a win last time out at nine and a half long. So that's a big form line for Indestructible among not earned 280,000 maidens' lifetime. Two starts back fought by nine and a half lengths to Francis Rosetta and King Pie. And we've seen Rosetta come back to win since. King Pai has also come back to win since. And he ran a big race in that same 9 and a half round contest where Mac and Rome won. So any of those two last efforts by Indestructible will be good enough to get the job done here. And looking at the debut run August last year, Indestructible served by two lengths behind Lucy in the Sky and Himaya. Himaya is still a maiden. Lucy in the Sky hasn't won since. But that was a good, an encouraging enough effort at even money on debut was well bet. First time of asking, so he had high expectations of him coming to the races. This indestructible Philip Parcher picks up the mouth, he's going to be 57 kilos. And he rides here for trainer Philip Elliott and owner Andrew Elliott. The Elliott brothers should team up with a win here with indestructible. Number two, awesome lion, third by six and three quarter length, beaten by Rosetta and Immeasurable Joy. I just told about Rosetta. 
been a good horse to recommend. The chances of indestructible soul. The same can be said about Awesome Lion. Returns of a layoff since the 4th of May. Champion Jockey Ray and Lewis retains the mount for her older trainer Lorenzo Robinson. That third by six and three quarter lengths. And last is a good enough effort to recommend Awesome Lion among these. Eight Tiffany Blue. Tevin Foster leading the rider picks up the mount replacing Robin Halladin. Showed good pace. The last two outings led for three furlongs in a six and a half furlong contest on the 23rd of June, beaten by Princess Fiani, Rachel Manning, and Himaya. And last time out at five round, advisor and tongue tie fitted for the first time. Outsped, fought by ten and a quarter length behind Trust Fund Baby. She's Dallas Love. And Adira look for Tiffany Blue among not earned maidens to run a brave enough race. Number 10, a breath of fresh air. Third by six lengths to Justin Big Time and Kensia. That was at five and a half for all. Vice and now fitted by Trader Field of Police. Six-time champion jockey Omar Walker faces Carlos Blake and E.C. Grant, who have been aboard. A breath of fresh air so far. Look for a breath of, a breath of fresh air to run. A pleasing race here. I'm going to go 5 8 two, 10 as my order of preference. Indestructible to get the better of Tiffany Blue, Awesome Line, and a breath of fresh air. Dr. Polite selection is number eight, Tiffany Blue, and that's his cook food special. Race number seven is next, the She's a Man Eater Trophy. We have a field of six. It's a great six. Open the lunch contest for three and up the first 1.75 million. They go one mile, 1,600 meters or eight for long. Strike four starts here. Minimum guarantee payout, 500,000. Jackpot over 379,000. And what can we say about our reigning horse of the year? Two-time horse of the year. Atomica. She has won eight of her last 10 races. And uh, she has beaten the same horses that beat her in the Mute my last year. Rough entry. Is that a fact? You name it. She has beaten them. So it goes back to the fact that she was just not herself on Mute my day last year. She won Ian Levy Cup on New Year's Day by five lengths in 143, 4, 4, 8.5, 4 with 57 kilos. Beating is that a fact? And in the Chairman's Trophy on the 24th of February, on a poor ride, she lost by two lengths. Is that a fact? Allowing is that a fact? Six kilos. She came back in the vice row and blew away. Is that a fact? With 52 kilos, one by 13 and a quarter lengths, 139.2 for the mile. And next in town, over seven furlongs. Got the better of that rabbit trap with Mamma Mia. Trying to get her off her game early. That was a seven furlong contest. And uh, she had to. Pull out all the stops there to hold on from. Is that a fact who came with a refreshed and renewed energy inside the final furlong there after Mama Mia did the work up front. This time around, it's going to be a mile. Easier pace for Tomica. She's allowing lumps of weight all around at 57 kilos. Fun can done. 46 kilos notably. The connections are opted for Jordan Barr to maximize on that 46 kilo allotted weight. And how about Mama Mia's weight? 46 kilos allotted, Ramon appear. Should chip off two kilos of that. So it's going to be 44 kilos for Mamma Mia. So it's going to be a two or three pronged attack from the stales of the champion trainer to try and lower the colors of Atomica. Atomica has worked well. When five and a half hours is 107.2 by 101 and a fifth of a second on the 21st of July. And on the 14th of July, a half mile in 47 and two fifths of a second. Six-time champion jockey Omar Walker, he knows what to do. The rabbit will be Mamma Mia. And Fun Can Done is going to be the one they'll try to come with in deep stretch. Let's see how that will work out. Fred the Great, stepping up in his game recently, won back-to-back -back races, a mile in 140 flat. We'll have to do Ocean better. Up against our two-time horse of the year. So, it's the fourth running of the She's a Man Eater Trophy. The feature, taking number four, Atomica. To get the better of number one, Fun Can Done. Then five, Mamma Mia. And six, Fred the Great. Dr. Paul Light's tip is also Atomica. Race number eight is next. Start later over here. Minimum guarantee period is 400,000. We have a field of 14. We go 1,000 meters round. It's restricted allowance. Five, four, native birth, and up nuns of two. And import is four, up maidens. The per 750,000. Of the field of 14, my best four includes five, the love of God, eight, golden loyalty, 10, read my lips, and 11, tapping in, five, eight, 10, and 11. A very competitive looking eighth event. Number 10, read my lips, gets a vote. 
Second by ten and three quarters last time I beat my baby love who appeared to be out of class, but read my lips stage relentlessly. Throw it and it gets the not here. Ray Lewis picks up the month for Randolph Scott. They'll be teamed up early on the card with sensational gold. So they could very well be looking for a double. We respect read my lips chances. Golden Lawton number eight has been well beaten since within easily. September last year released made tag by five and a quarter lengths over fearless rain and bad investment. But has been looking up at exercise. Shavon Townsend is riding well. Look for a big run here from Golden Loyalty. Number 11 tapping in. Not too far away. First time at Nuns of Two over the straight. Now comes around the bend. Diana Thompson for Barrington Dawes and Michael Mattis will keep this one on the right side as well. Has shown good speed and the love of God. Jose Osorio back in action riding here for Stephen Todd. Look for the love of God. To acquit herself well here in race number eight. Wide open looking eighth event to start the late triple. Make it 10 11. Make that 10 8 11 5. Read my lips. Golden loyalty. Tap it in. And the love of God. Dr. Polite agrees with me with read my lips number 10. The ninth and penultimate is next. We have a field of nine. And this is a restricted allowance. 448 by thousand up nuns of three. And imported four thousand up nuns of two. The per 780,000. They go 1100 meters or five and a half furlongs. Off the field of nine, my best four includes one blinking light. Four natural dancer, six gray commander at nine. James, one, four, six, nine. That's where we'll go in the ninth and penultimate. Natural dancer led for a long way in the last three outings, going over much longer distances. Went a mile on the 2nd of June and stepping up in journey for the first time and led for the first six four rounds, beaten by a length behind Whiskey. Subsequent to that came seven and a half four rounds on the 22nd of June, led for the first half mile before reaching to finish four by six and a half lengths to Super Annex. She's my head front and Mr. Senator. And last time out went 925 yards, the circular nine distance, and led for the first seven furlongs before being overhauled by Wayne's Princess. Held second by three lengths, beating Easy Peasy. Easy Peasy has come back to win since. So, natural dancer now cutting back in distance from 925 to five and a half furlongs. She should make the lead here, and she's going to be the one they'll all have to try and catch. Great commander, Michael Semple riding for Kevin Murray. This one. Six in that same easy peasy event. Easy peasy beat him by 30 lengths. So cutting back to five and a half furlongs, though, should be a better bargain here for Great Commander. So look for him to be well poised for good effort. And James, number nine, ran on to the second last time out over the straight, beaten by Mrs. Lindhurst. Another encouraging run is expected from James Shabon Townsend, right return to Spencer Chong. And one blinking light won by 10 lengths last time out. It's always good when you see a thoroughbred winning by open lengths at the grade below. So that could mean. That he can take care of the grade above, but blinking light doesn't win as often as backers of light. Takes long uh, between uh, victories, but let's see if there's going to be an upset prospect here with blinking light. Aaron Charity picks up the mount for trainer Gary Griffiths and owner JJ Taft. Make it 4691, my order of preference in race nine. Natural dancer to get a better of great commander, James. And blinking light. Dr. Polite's selection is number nine, James. The 10 10 final. Is going to be the secondary feature, the Donald Webby Senior Trophy. We have a field of 12. They go 1,000 meters straight. It's a restricted overnight allowance contest for thrills and up. Horses who have not won an overnight race lifetime. My best four for the five-straight contest includes four Burlap, six Fearless Soul, ten Chocomo, and twelve Digital One. Four, six, ten, and twelve. The one they'll all have to beat is going to be 12. The digital, that Digital One, and this one, Notably owned Oak Ridge Farms, same owners of Atomica. The race has been run in honor of Donald Webb Sr. And of course, Oak Ridge Farms, very closely affiliated with Donald Webb Sr. And of course, Donald Webb Jr. So they'll take a great deal of pride to win the inaugural running of the Donald Webb Sr. trophy. Has worked well for the 45 3 for 4 4 on straight by. 59.2. That was on the 20th of July. The blinker's now on for the first time and gets the widest post in a field of 12. The writing could very well be on the wall from early out in the Donald Webby Senior Trophy. Stablemate Chocomo could have a, a surest, exact spot here of the others. Robert Haldin riding for Jason Acosta and Gnidas and CD. Third by eight and a half lengths of Booty Lutus and Money Market. Second attempt at overnight. First attempt was third by four and a quarter length behind Inspire Force and Milos. What over the straight? On the 1st of June, beating Commander Z. That one has come back to win Sid. So it could be an ice cold exacta 
in the double web is senior. 12, Digital One over 10, Chocobo of the others. Number six, Fear the Soul is the third choice here. Radish Roman, Fidu Fiano D. And number four, Burn Up. Richard Henry riding for Richard Lazan. Richard teams up with Richard here. Let's see if that can play some form of a rake for the Superfecta and High Five. But the 12 10 looks ice cold. Digital One over Chocomo. Dr. Paul Light, he agrees with me with Digital One. That's the program for you, Turf Talk. I'm your analyst, Michael Kane, on behalf of our student engineer. Asta Oid, until it's time for live racing from Cayman Spark, first post, high noon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>